Well, if you're a fan of quarter horses or have been around quarter horses for a long time, you certainly know that quarter horses are built powerfully, just full of muscle, ripple with strength. So we want to know, okay, what goes into getting a strong animal such as that? Obviously, exercising them and working them out is a big, big key. But, of course, there's also feeding, just like you would an athlete, a human athlete. Eating is important. So we're going to talk to Lynn Melton and talk about the different diets that go into quarter horses building those powerful athletes. Tell me, what do you do with your feeding when you're, when you're training a horse and working with a horse? Well, we try to make sure they maintain their weight. I'm very, you know, I like, I like a horse a little fatter than a lot of people because uh, when you get into a hard campaign, they're going to, you know, they're going to lose a little weight anyway. So we try to feed a lot of fat. So we feed a sweet feed for that. And, of uh, course, you know, the basis for any race horse or any horse is oats. Oats is, a, you know, the high energy, high carbohydrates, you know, without, a, without the, uh, you know, foundering effects of a wheat and barley. And we feed a lot of supplements. We feed electrolytes, you know, to maintain their, uh, after they run to replenish their, uh, you know, their moisture and everything. So we feed a, you know, a dry vitamin, and then we feed two liquid vitamins just to make sure that they're they're getting. Now, so you've developed the, your feeding system over time. I mean, is it a little trial and error, or do you feel that you you got it all down even now? I don't think you ever have it all down. You know, I've been doing this for 30 years, and I've 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 changed a lot, but over the last 10 years, not very much. Maybe my supplements a little bit because I think there probably are better supplements than that we were feeding, you know, 20 years ago. So, uh, but the main thing is just each horse is different. Make sure they're eating what they want, you know, and you always want them to clean up. And uh, so uh, we feed three times a day just so the portions are a little smaller. Most most people, I think, do, but some people don't. But that's just personal preference. So is it like human beings? It's basically breakfast, lunch, dinner, and how would you, how do you distribute the amount that you feed? It's kind of yeah, that's what it is. But their, their dinner is a big one because that's a twelve-hour, you know, ten-hour at least period in between. And we feed them at noon, basically just as a reward when they get all put away. And you know, I mean, it, it helps. I mean, we feed them supplements and everything at the same time, but it's just a smaller portion, and they they look forward to it, you know. And you know, happy horses win races. So. You didn't mention you feed them carrots at all. What's that? You know, that, that's kind of like the the whole. Uh, we feed them treats. We, you know, they used to kind of laugh, but we feed them those apple bite treats that people buy. And, and when I was this winter, when I was sick and couldn't do anything but feed them, I kind of got to feed them all treats. So. Now tell me, in, in human athletes, water is just superiorly important. How does that play a role in in quarter horse? We, we top the water buckets off three, or four, or five times a day. You know, when it starts getting hot, you know, that's that's the last thing your night man does at night is make sure everybody's got water. Is dehydration an issue with quarter horses? Yeah, that's why we feed the electrolytes is dehydration. And we use a lot of oral, oral electrolyte paste when we're working horses, not, you know, right as they come back. So they kind of get your aid for them, you know. But we feed electrolyte supplement every day. Well, Lynn, of course, there's hay, something that we all associate with horses. Tell us about that. Well, we feed hay free choice, you know, about all of our horses. The quarter horses, you don't have to uh, drop as bad. We feed uh, Timothy probably like 60%, probably 40% alfalfa, depending. But if the horse is light on his weight, we'll increase the alfalfa, you know. And uh, like I said, we we don't hardly ever take the hay away from them until just before they run and we're in front of them 24 hours a day. If you were to give one advice to a, a young trainer or, or a horseman, about feeding, what would it be? Just that one advice to keep. Just common sense. Just I think keep it real simple. Always try to increase a little bit, you know, so you try and have a little extra in the tank, you know, because if we start with these babies like in May, and hopefully we still got them going in December. So, you know, if a horse runs a race and doesn't come back and eat the next day, you know, you're you're already a day behind everybody else. So that's the main thing is just keep it basic so they'll eat it. Well, they say win, place, and show. Sometimes it might just be win place and chow. Back to the studio.